Okay, in this video we're going to be talking about uh, using the task manager. Um, now, the main purpose of using the task manager is to see, you know, how healthy your processor is or how, how healthy your program is. So, um, a lot of times this is kind of overlooked, um, not really paid much attention to, and, and you know, so it, it is very important as far as that goes, as far as diagnostics and, and understanding is how healthy your system is. So uh, real quick, we'll just go ahead. I have a, a program open running with the processor. So, um, and, and note you can't do this on. Uh, you won't be able to do this on a uh, a virtual system or emulated system. Sorry. So uh, first and foremost, you get a Rockwell software. Go to the RS Logic 500 Enterprise and go to Tools. Go to uh, your Task uh, Monitor. Now, it, it depends. You may have a different look. Uh, it depends on, you know, basically uh, what version you have. Uh, this is version uh, 3. So version 3 is a lot better. Um, if you have some of the newer ones, you don't have to worry about it. Some of the older legacy ones don't work quite as well. Uh, first off, you hit uh, go to monitor, hit start. Go down to uh, find your processor wherever it, it may be right and then connect to it so then no matter how many tasks you have um, at this point it's going to show all of them right so you can kind of widen this up um, and you know shorten everything so that you can see it really well um, so you see I'm using uh, very very little on this program I'm using very very little of my uh, CPU usage uh, it's an L7 processor, L73, um, but it's using very little of it. So, I mean, I could take this task, uh, I can change this task uh, rate uh, from 47 down to probably like 8, and it still wouldn't affect it. Um, that's just because uh, basically I have, you know, um, I'm not using much of the program at all. So the memory and everything, and it's only one task, So, but you did see the CPU usage go up when I did that right the next tab would be performance um, this is the CPU usage again right so um, then you have comms um, that's get your communications and your memory usage right so this get kind of gives you a pie of, of what you know what it looks like and you know basically how it breaks down um, the next thing is connections that's your uh, basically your messages and it could be just about anything, you know, whatever you're, you're talking through links, um, your connections to devices. Um, next thing is messages. If I, if you had any messages, they would be here. Uh, this program is real simple. It doesn't have any. Um, RS links, you know, if it had a bunch of connections, it would show the, uh, the topics and packets. Of course, this is not showing anything. You could switch to bar to line. Um, it really depends on what you, you know, how you want to see it. Um, then comms. So this is the communications uh, and how long it takes and everything. And so that's that's pretty uh, pretty good right there. But you can kind of get a trend. It's, it's almost like a trend tool, right? Um, but obviously you're going to see a lot more data uh, with some of your bigger bigger systems. This is just something uh, I, I threw together for the course I built, right? But I'm, I run the, the task tool to see how well the process is developed. Um, this is just something you do to check the health. Uh, you can check your modules. Um, you can come in here. So the last tab is modules. You can check your, um, your Ethernet module. Uh, you can check uh, if you had multiple Ethernet modules. You can check, you know, just different stuff of that nature, different communications and stuff. You can see plainly that this is a very, very healthy system. Um, what I will note and this this actually tricks a lot of people is and and I'll show you this so you see the CPU usage right now is 5.3 uh, okay so if I hit save and it, it's such a small program it, it, it doesn't take long to save but if it was a big program it would take you know it would shoot up um, it would take you know take a little bit to uh, to actually um, so what I mean by so let's just say for instance you are running in like the uh, 
70% range up here of your CPU. And then you hit save, you're going to jump up to here, you know, in the 80s and, and possibly 90. And it's going to show, show yellow. When it shows yellow, then um, basically, you know, your processor is starting to get where it's not healthy. And you, you will, if you use too much, I have seen it in the past where um, basically somebody will be programming so much and they'll just, they'll not ever L5K the processor. And what will happen are they'll change their task rate uh, so low that when they hit save that, you know, they're already in the dangerous range, you know, in, in the processor's CPU is actually running in the, the 70s that when they hit save it actually goes into and exceeds 95 and it it actually goes into a hard fault so let's let's kind of see if we can change that so let's take this down to a real quick I want to see if that that affects it any and and obviously this is a really really small program so um, I don't really see it uh, I might be able to like fault it out or something but I, I don't think I'm going to be able to um, make the program see it even jumps up to 10% so I mean I'm using you know quite a bit right let's see it jumped up to about 14% um, so you can plainly see that you're using more processor so as you're saving it it does use more process so just know that that does happen and and be aware of that but this is a tool that I like, you know, just wanted to show you that, that is very, very helpful on, on checking the health of your system. And uh, at that point, you can come up here, you have options, you can, so it's a powerful tool too, so be careful. Because you can actually change your scan rates and stuff of that nature. You can log things, um, you can, you know, do advanced stuff, um, look at your log warnings. Um, and you can actually do reports. Uh, you can generate a report if you wanted to and what the report will, will plainly show uh, you can call it uh, we'll call this servo uh, mastery actually I have to uh, come in here on the desktop and we'll call it uh, servo mastery So um, we'll get a report real quick and just just generate the report and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I uh, believe it it's finished. So if we go to the desktop, we should have an HTML file. And when you open an HTML file, it's going to show you everything about the processor, right? So now you have something you can print out and actually use to show somebody else what what's going on with the process. You can see the Ethernet, it shows the IP address, and it shows um, many, many different things that, you know, basically everything you can read. Um, so if you go down here, and these are all hyperlinked, so these are just the same tools you were using right here, um, except this is in a report form, right? So you know exactly, um, you know exactly what you're doing. So you can use this in Pi, use it in Grid. Um, it's many different things. I like to use the pie myself, but that's just me. Uh, again, so uh, just wanted to kind of show that and uh, you know make a real quick video on that. Uh, as far as that goes, you know that that tells you how healthy your system is, and it's a real helpful tool. So hopefully, um, you know you start. You know if you hadn't known about if you didn't know about it, again uh, it's down. Um, if you have the software suite, it comes with that. But uh, Sparkle Tools, um, I think it's, yeah, it's 5,000 tools, or it's, um, if it's in Studio uh, 5000, you'll still see it, though. Um, it's, it's uh, what you're looking for is the task monitor. So the task monitor, and just, just point it to your processor. So again, I just wanted to kind of do a real quick video on that and show you, you know, what was going on with that, so... Hopefully that helped and kind of opened your eyes on, on some possibilities and see some different things you can kind of troubleshoot with and help you uh, understand, you know, exactly how healthy your processor is. I will note that if you're running a continuous task, like if I change this task to a continuous task, uh, and let's go change this, 
um, to a continuous task and then we run it um, what's going to happen is you're going to have a lot different results right so um, this is why I don't like continuous tasks myself because I can't I don't get near the amount of data that I want um, it, it's really really hard to troubleshoot so um, and you'll see what I'm talking about so maybe not so much on this because it's only one task but you see right here if you're running a continuous task it's gonna it's gonna say a hundred percent so this is why I don't use continuous tasks because you you don't really understand exactly what's going on so it says a continuous task is present resulting in a hundred percent CPU use it utilization and again that's you can't troubleshoot that so um, once this is put back to a periodic then everything goes back to exactly what it was so uh, that's just one thing I wanted to note for those that are running continuous tasks if you see that and you use this tool don't be alarmed it's just the continuous task you should be using all periodic tasks or event driven tasks to uh, especially with motion um, to uh, you know make sure you you have you know you, you can time systems right for one for but for two for so you can do diagnostics okay so uh real quick i'll wrap that up and uh, that was the uh again the task monitor and uh how to use it so hopefully that was helpful open open your eyes on a new tool and uh again uh if you have any questions feel free to, to leave me a comment thanks